Welcome to the Project Brotherhood Power Hour, where we bring you everything you need to fight the disease. My name is Steve Hughes. I'm joined today along with Dr. Marlon Everett, Dr. Tom Mason, along with Dr. Bonnie P. Thomas, Executive Director of Project Brotherhood, Mr. Marcus Murray. One of the things that we try to do here at Project Brotherhood is bring you quality information give you things that's going to help you out in your community, of course, in terms of like what we're doing here at BLM. We're trying to ask questions. We're trying to help the community out. We're trying to bring focus. And we're trying to define a new definition of help. I think one thing to remember for us at Project Brotherhood, help is mental, physical, social, economic, and spiritual. If one aspect is off of anybody's life, then they're not healthy. Project Brotherhood is one that's looking, that's thinking outside of the box. Um, and thinks about health in, the, in more of a political, social, and economic and spiritual uh, uh, definition. Some of the things that's happened in the community, like some of the statistics that step out in my mind is, for instance, 53% of the Hispanics and 66% of the Native Americans, uh, they're born in unwed mothers. But the lowest percentage is 17% Asian, 29% white, 72% and African-American communities. Things like that's going to affect us in so many different ways. It's going to affect us in battling drug addictions, disappropriation of black men in prison. It, it's crushing our communities. So now we're recognizing that the lower the blood pressure, the better. Now what does that have to do with economic status? It has a lot to do with it. Number one, if you can't pay your bills, if you're stressed, if you can't sleep at night because you're worried about paying your bills, then you're going to have high blood pressure because we all know that sleep, that good night's sleep is directly related to blood pressure. We also have social workers. Actually, another thing we do at our Project Brotherhood, if any brother comes through, we look at all the five areas. So if a brother's complaining about he has some social issues that's causing him stress, Peter walk him down the hall and introduce him to our social worker. Introduce him to other black men that look like him and deals with the stress. Right. One thing to remember, so, you know, everything we go through in life has a reason. When you come through Project Brotherhood, we try to figure that out with this health. You know, with this health care reform, right, you have medicines going up. What about the brothers who don't want to take medicine with all these side effects? You know, you have to have alternative ways. Of course, you know Project Brotherhood, we have cheap gone, but just pushing medicine, putting our people on another prescribed drug, is not everybody's ass. Or else an alternative, but we have to exercise. I, I think that complimentary. I'm sorry, I, 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 they're complementary. Not so much an alternative, but definitely complementary. I think medicines and, 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 and medicines and, and social work and and discussions with and group discussions definitely are therapeutic for the patients. So that's another way to save your life. We saw we saw those people get off medicine, get off medication by what they ate. We hear this a lot as doctors that we're always trying to push medicines in, and that's something that we're not trying to do. I want to make sure you understand that. I think that if we didn't have to give medicine, we wouldn't. But we're not going to sit back as doctors and allow people to essentially uh, make the excuses like, I don't want to take medicine, don't want to take medicine. And then the next time we see them, we see them having a stroke, having a heart attack in the hospital at that point. So I think it's definitely medicines are band-aids. They aren't yeah. cure Two doctors have to be open. I agree. I agree. Medicines I agree. And at least encourage the research and the study yeah. and all that aspect. Well, that's what Project Brotherhood is all about. And right. we know that if we address those social underlying social issues, in a lot of cases, folks, they, we can get people off of their right. medicine. Right.